Hey, what's up, guys? Fourth of July weekend just passed. There goes um, Center Reach Library. So I was here last week um, just filling out some paperwork, sending some stuff to Geico. And as I was doing, I was just recording my, uh, my transaction. I wasn't even here to do an audit. You know what I'm saying? I was just here filming my transaction peacefully. And, um, and then what ended up happening is Marianne ended up cursing me out. So I'm doing a complaint against her. I already, um, felt, filled out a complaint with the postal inspector. And now I'm here just to follow up. I did speak with the, uh, with the supervisor, the postmaster earlier, um, I think her name was like Lorraine, and I'm here to speak with the supervisor now, just to let them know to, you know, let all the employees here know that it's okay for people to record their transactions. And, and forget about the first audit thing. I wasn't even doing, a, I mean, a, a, a first amendment audit, but today I am, and I'm gonna see, just make sure that they respect our rights to record in public. And anybody that comes in to film their transaction, they should be allowed to. So, um, here we go. Going in now. It says, uh, please protect yourself and others. Mask requires inside lobby. Um, I know the governor has lifted the, uh, you know, the thing for that. Nothing else on here. So let's see. I'm going to kind of quickly walk in. Show you guys post the seven. They got a pretty small lobby here. So this is... Post the seven here. <clears throat> yeah. So it goes post the seven, guys. Uh, so this is the uh, Center East Library here. So I'm going to come in uh, to. Uh, speak to Lauren. I'll do my follow-up here. Come speak to the supervisor. Okay. Um, that's okay. I'm here to, I spoke to the postmaster earlier. That's what I'm here to educate you guys on. Um, I'm confused. Did you just say I'm gonna go screw myself. That's what I'm here. File a formal complaint. Hey, how are you, sir? Good. How's everything going? Um, is I spoke to the postmaster earlier. Uh, she told me to come in. She said she wasn't gonna be here because she's on vacation, like park vacation this week. Yeah, she's not here. So I'm gonna talk to her next week. But um, she did tell me that Teresa would be here today. I'm here to file a complaint. Yes, please. Hold on. Thank you very much. <clears throat> so we got all this stuff here if you want to come get something. But like the loved ones or something like that. We got some home depot card here. We got this whole send a gift section. You know what I think it's pretty cool? They used to they used to have like baseball stuff here and all that. But uh like baseball memorabilia and all that kind of stuff. I, don't, I know the post office doesn't offer that anymore. Hey, how are you, sir? What was your name, sir? Totally ignored me.
Sorry, sir, what was your name? Hi, right, Teresa. How are you doing, Teresa? Good. Um, I just need that gentleman's name real quick. Why, what's going on? Because um, he, he told me I couldn't record in here. I told him I'll speak to you, and then I asked him his name. He's not giving me his name. He just walked away. Okay. So I just need to know his name. His name is Martin. Okay, cool, Martin. Yeah. And did you speak with um, the postmaster earlier? Did she tell you I would be coming in today? She did not. Okay, so I'm here because I was here um, over the weekend. Can you, like, not? Can you really bring it down? I don't know if you're going to post this on something, but I bring really what down? don't want to be on the internet. Bring what down? The camera. Oh, no. No, I'm, I'm going to record my transaction just for my purposes and just to explain to you what happened when I was here. Is that okay that I explain it to you? What you happened? Put the camera down, it is. Oh, no, I'm not going to put the camera down. Okay, then I'm going to go. So you have a right to take your video in the lobby, but I don't really want to be on whatever... Ma'am, I spoke to your postal inspector. I mean, your postal... Um, my postmaster? Yeah. Okay. And she, she, she said it's perfectly okay to record in here. So I'm it here to is, talk to I you. I don't want to be on camera. You can record anything you want in there. Right. Anything you want to do, but I don't want to be on camera. So if you would like, could, you can come tomorrow. We, can, we start o can we start over? Can we start over? We can start over and put the you're, camera down. You're, you're a public employee. And I it's, don't want to be on your personal video. So you shouldn't be working for the public then, ma'am. You have a nice day, sir. All right. I don't really care. Do whatever you want. All right. Another unprofessional one here. Oh, Supervisor. First, first, Marianne tells me to go screw myself, which is very unprofessional, I think, for a public servant. And now I got Teresa, who's refusing me service. So that's not only going to be a complaint on Marianne, it's going to be a complaint on the supervisor. So I'll just stay here until they close. So as you can see, this is how the uh, follow-up is going. And uh, I can't even get the uh, supervisor to talk to me. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I don't I mean to bother you again. Is there another supervisor here besides her? She's the only one here? Okay. Yeah, the problem is I work I work during the day, so that's the only time I was able to meet, you know, come here now. Yeah, yeah, I know. I spoke to her this afternoon. She told me it's perfectly okay to record every employee in here as long as it's not, you know, as long as I'm not going into any restricted area. She said it's perfectly fine. And uh, I was just here... You know, over the weekend, I was filling out some paperwork because my son was involved in a bad accident. So I needed to get the paperwork to uh, Geico. And I, I wasn't even here for you all. I was just filming my own transaction. And Marianne just got super upset. I said, listen, I'm, I'm just want to get a video of me handing it into you. That's it. So just in case Geico said they didn't get the paperwork, I handed it in. I wasn't even here for anything else. And uh, she got very really upset, and she told me to go screw myself and take a walk. So... No, no, I'm just letting you know what happened. So, and I appreciate you listening to me. Very professional, cordial. I appreciate that. So, I'll just be hanging around. You guys close at five thirty, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Thank you. Yeah. All right, guys. So Teresa doesn't want to speak to me. I'm gonna apparently I'm gonna have to take off, and I gotta take off from work to come speak to uh, the postmaster because the, the supervisor doesn't want to talk to me. She's ridiculous. A very unprofessional. And again. Just to go back over to uh, post the seven here, it gives me express permission to record in the post office. And uh, the chief postal inspector, I wonder if there's a, a telephone number for the postal police here. Uh, like this was updated, post the seven, August 7, 2007, this was updated. And I'm just looking for the postal inspector, postal inspector. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see any uh, telephone number for the postal police. Usually it's posted somewhere around here. If there's any issues, call the postal police. 
I mean, not that I want to call the cops here. I don't, I don't want to bring uh, armed people here. But I'm sure that the postal police will um, let them know what it is. And um, I just need to be able to speak to somebody to to um, to let them know what you know what's going on. And uh, they are refusing to uh, speak to me. So the hours here are. Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. But I, oh, that's the collection box. Um, I don't know what the hours are, the actual hours are. I don't know. Oh, they posted so 5.30, Monday through Friday. Uh, 5.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. And then Saturday from 5.30 to 3.30. And then Sunday and the holidays, they're closed. So full service hours are from Friday, 6 a.m. to 5.30. Saturday, 6 p.m. to 5.30, excuse me, sir, sorry. And then they're closed Sundays and holidays. So um, I don't know why she doesn't want to talk to me or why she's scared to be on video. Is there any way you guys can try to get Teresa for me again? Please, thank you. trying to start over with Miss, with Miss Teresa. Maybe she'd be willing to uh, hear me out, at least give me a complaint form so I can start the process. Can you move over to the side, please? Um, sure. I, I request not to be on camera. Okay, wait. You're a public employee, sir. If you feel like you need to call armed men here for somebody with a camera when you're recording me too, feel free. Whatever it is, you, the, the police will tell you that it's perfectly fine for me to record in here, sir. All I'm looking to do, all I'm looking to do, all I'm, don't start asking him if I can record. I'm not even on him. Cameras, don't don't start trouble. Don't start trouble, please. You don't. I'm not pointing the, the cameras at any of the customers, so don't start engaging the customers or soliciting a. a Something from the customers, please. Okay, so I'm coming because I get this in my email. I don't know if it's a scam or is it real. So he tried to solicit. You can see that guy tried to solicit starting starting something with the customer that was here trying to solicit the customer that he doesn't want to be recording him when he should know there is no expectation of privacy in public all i'm looking to do is follow what i'm looking to do is um get a complaint form so i can file a complaint he threatened to call the police on me i told him you know, he doesn't have to call any R men over here. I just want to be able to talk to somebody. And then he tried to solicit this customer that's in here now and tried to tell him, do you, you want to be recorded? Like, come on, he's trying to, trying to start trouble with customers and myself when I'm not even here for nobody but to make a complaint on the post lady, um, Marianne, who cursed me out last week. So I'm here to make a complaint, and he is... Uh, He's trying to solicit something from, from the other people. And I think they're calling the cops. Well, what I'm looking to do is file a complaint. And they're refusing to help me, so... <clears throat>
Yeah, so not, nothing with a start number, right? You were you said the start number. If you can type it. So, guys, my GoPro is down, so I'm using my uh, my iPhone 11 here. So, so next time, how do I know? Come back. If it's legitimate, I'll put the number with the studio. It'll tell me where that happened. But I cannot put anything like that to the police report. This gentleman's been very nice and respectful and cordial. Um, did Teresa said she was going to come back by, out by any chance? Did, okay. Well, I want to do a speak to somebody about how I was treated here, and I'm just getting treated with more disrespect and nastiness. And it's not right. I'm a customer. I should be treated fairly and respectfully. And uh, it's just not right. <clears throat> Teresa. Um, can I have a complaint form, please? You don't have complaint form. You go to USPS.com. You go right. right on there. All right. I already, I already filed one, but I was wondering if you had like paper forms that I can no, do with that. You Would you like to start over with me and so you can find out why I'm here? I, I apologize that you think that I'm, I'm being unprofessional. I don't want to go into your place of business with my video camera. Okay. I don't know. I don't want to be on your YouTube or your Instagram or whatever it is. Uh, as a matter of fact, do I don't even have a YouTube channel. So what? You need I'm to just recording this. You see how you're behaving? Like, that's unprofessional, Sorry, Teresa. We're closing in three minutes. Okay. If you, if you have something to tell me, tell me now. All right. Can you come closer so we don't no, have to talk loud? I'm not playing okay. this game with you. All right. It's not a game, first what of all. What would you like? Okay. So I was here on Saturday, mm -hmm. okay? And one of your employees, Marianne, okay. told me to screw myself and take a walk. And why would she do that? There, there is no reason for her to I do that. She's, she she's a, that. It doesn't matter... Well, number one, I didn't do anything to receive that kind of talk from her. And number two, it doesn't matter what I did. You're not She's supposed not to talk here. to the I public like that. Well, I have it all on video. I wasn't even here for her or anybody. I was here to just film my transaction because, like I was telling this gentleman here, who's, who's actually, he should be a supervisor. He's more professional you than know, you. Sir, I don't need your, all right? your slice, but listen. So what, what I'm saying is... People have every right to not want to be videotaped, as do I. Okay. Whether you call professional or not. Okay. okay, I don't really care what you think, and I don't want to... Well, you should that. care what I think. I'm, I'm, I'm part of the public. It's your job to serve me and, and no, you're, take you're, care of you're me. You're harassing. This is borderline harassment. It's not harassment. I'm here to file a complaint, and you and, and right off the bat, you have an attitude. It's you're not right. right. USPS.com. You can file your complaint yeah, I, I already did, but you guys don't have... Teresa you guys. Edgehill, if you need to contact anybody. What's the last name? Edgehill. How do you spell it? How do you spell it? You're supposed to have a name tag on as per your post of seven, too. So you don't even have a name tag on. <clears throat> I guess I'm just going to have to come back every day until I can speak to somebody who's willing to listen and not be respect disrespectful. Just let me know when it's 530, but I'll, I'll walk right out the door. And this is how the supervisor treats me. Now I'm going to have to come talk directly to the postmaster. And uh, when I spoke to her earlier today, she said she was not happy about me being called to screw off or, or screw myself and being told to talk a walk. She wasn't happy about that. And uh, she said, I assure you, come speak to Teresa. She'll take care of you. And this is the way that, that this supervisor treats me. And uh, all I'm looking to do is just file a complaint. That's it. So you have to leave a card. Is it 530 already? Yep. Okay. Thank you. And this gentleman here, just um, nasty. Even took off his name tag. And that's what it is, guys. That's the way I got treated. Now I'm going to go to the back.